Good day, viewers. You are highly welcome to Afri's Concept TV, the number one reliable channel where you can be enlightened on different kind of news like sports, political news, top news, local news, name it. So viewers, don't hesitate to click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to get notifications whenever I drop any video. Thank you and have a wonderful day. News updates. Tinumbu speaks as Abakiari takes bill to Buari in London. Bola Ahmed Tinumbu, national leader of the All Progressive Congress, has commended President Momodu Buari for signing the Deep Offshore Act in London. Tinumbu also commended the President Chief of Staff Abakiari for traveling to London to present the bill to Buari for assets. However, Tinumbu said that the signing of the bill was a pointer to the fact that Buari was determined to reform the country's economy. A statement is signed titled The Coming Prosperity, read with the action by the National Assembly to improve the outdated Deep Offshore Act through legislative amendments. Nigeria has turned an important corner. As stated in his insights forward, looking commentary published in this day, Presidential Chief of Staff Abakiari rightfully asserted the financial provisions of the old law had outlived their stated purpose. Continuation with this outmoded financial regime enriched the oil companies while depriving Nigeria of a fair bargain. Billions of dollars that should have landed in our nation coffers to fund public infrastructure and essential social services instead found residents in the balance sheets of the oil firms. This was no attempt to deprive the oil majors. We want the firms to make a just profit for their efforts. However, they have been receiving a surplus at the expense of our minimal development needs. This is not as things should be. The companies are Nigerians' long-term business partners, and we have no interest in denigrating them. All we seek is a fair, equitable relationship. The new amendment provides this. The amendment demonstrates the important progress to be made when the National Assembly and the Presidency work in harmony for the collective good. Efforts by past governments to amend the law got bogged in failure due to the intervention of special interest. This time, finally, the national interests were considered weightier than the special interest of a few. President Momodu Buhari and the National Assembly leadership should be commended for this singular achievement. Chief of Staff Kiari titled its commentary towards a new deal for Nigeria. This is appropriate and more than symbolic. The title recalls a challenging time in the history of the United States. That nation was in the throes of economic contraction, Bolatinumbu added. The people would vote hostile insensitive party that had governed the nation for over a decade simply by catering in the wealthy. The people voted for a compassionate, progressive government aided by a committed principal leader to steal the nation out of the danger. No two historical situations are identical, but there are important similarities between our circumstances and the challenges American faced during that period. Faced with steep economic challenges, the administration of Franklin Roosevelt dedicated itself to reforming the economy in order to bring prosperity to a old and struggling population. In so doing, he would reform at least 
reinvents the nation's economic situations and laws. This would change the relationship between the average citizens and the American government for the better. This was the es essence of a new deal. Such beneficial reform is what the Buhari government seeks, but in a more complex and challenging environment. The American challenge was exclusively economic. The Nigerian challenge is multifaceted. President Muhammadu Buhari first had to tackle insecurity and the terrorism of Boko Haram. He then had to truncate corruption in official circles so that government would be responsive to the people's need instead of serving those who enriched themselves from government coffers. He had to grapple and make headway with these fundamental problems before shifting primary focus on economic reform. As the title of Chief of Staff carries, carries compositions indicates, we now move towards a new deal for Nigeria. President Mohamed Buhari is intent to reforming the economy that it may answer the needs of the majority of our people. Establishing the Economic Council of Advisors was an innovative, bold step, assembly our nation's top economic mind to shape economic programs and policies. Along with its ministers and other officials, the EAC will offer the president their best professional advice on how to improve all aspects of the economy and government's role in it. The amended Deep Offshore Act is not an isolated, solitary act. It is a Abidjan, just as the amended act brings to the oil sector overdue reform that will benefit national development. The Buhari administration will take a critical look at all major segments of the economy. It will do so with an eye to reforming what needs to be reformed and improving what needs to be improved, just as the oil sector had been made better. All other sectors of the economy will be strengthened. The end result will be an economy transformed into one that provides hope, opportunity, and mean, meaningful livelihood for all. Indeed, we move towards a new deal for Nigeria. Thank you, viewers, for listening to this news. What is your take on this news that we just heard? If you have any comments, don't hesitate to drop them below. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to receive more updates. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Ciao, ciao.